اولی روز بهار در تقویم های دولت آنتریو به نام روز نوروز نامگذاری شد که توجه شما رو به گوشه های از تصمیم این قطنامه در پارلمان آنتریو جلب میکنم I would like to thank you for the opportunity to move this resolution today, which reads that in the opinion of this House, the government of Ontario must demonstrate in its promotion of diversity the acknowledgement of the first day of spring, which may be any time between March 20th to the, to the 22nd, as no rules. Mr. Marini has moved second reading of private members' notice of motion Oh, sorry. Yes. Mr. Moridi has moved private member's notice of motion, number 20. Mr. Moridi, pursuant to Standing Order 96, you have up to 10 minutes. The floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Nowruz is the ancient Iranian festival of spring. In harmony with rebirth of nature, the celebrations begin at the, at the exact moment of the vernal equinox commencing the start of the spring. Nowruz is the new year among Iranians and always begins on the first day of spring, which may be any time from March 20th to March 22nd at the exact moment when the sun enters Aries. Nowruz ceremonies are symbolic representations of the ancient concept of rebirth. At the beginning of the spring, the festival of Nowruz signifies rebirth, hope, peace, and prosperity, and is a time of great joy and celebration. The name comes from Avistan, meaning a new day, and it was officially acknowledged and named Nowruz by mythical Persian emperor Jamshid Shah. Its non-ethical and non-religious characteristics is the precise reason for the fact that Nowruz is still prominent outside the political boundaries of, the, of modern Iran and is widely celebrated in various Central Asian countries such as Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Tajikistan, and in the Republic of Azerbaijan, part of Pakistan, India, and China, and in the Kurdish region of Turkey, Iraq, and Syria. Nowruz is the beginning of the official calendar of Iran and Afghanistan and is the official New Year in Iran, Azerbaijan, and Afghanistan. It has also been adopted as the official New Year feast by the Baha'i faith due to their roots in Iran. Ismaili Shia Muslims who trace their origin to Iran also celebrate Nowruz. Nowruz with its uniquely Iranian characteristics has been celebrated for at least 3,000 years and is deeply rooted in the traditions of the Zoroastrian belief system. That rather hard. This is a refreshing idea. The first day of spring is New Year because I think most of us feel renewed at this time of year. Um, and civilized indeed because, uh, as my friend from Richmond Hill uh, has, uh, has said, this dates back thousands of years, and uh, so it's built into a civilization. Uh, it's an interesting holiday. It is a tradition uh, of Persian people uh, to celebrate the New Year in this way. They attend uh, around the world, Iranian, Turkic peoples of all kinds. And in fact, I myself had the opportunity to attend Nuru's celebrations uh, earlier this week, and I thank the member from Richmond Hill for his hospitality uh, extended to me uh, in his writing which uh, this, this event was attended by people from Richmond Hill, which uh, features a prominent Persian community, as well as people from my own writing of Thorn Hill and other writings, uh, primarily in the, uh, in the northern 416 and the southern 905 region, where uh, a lot of Persian peoples live. I wish them all, Nuruz Mubarak, and the best for the year ahead. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The celebration as spiritual dimension a particular sense of secular authority. The celebration is organized according to the dynamics of love between the creator and his creation, the material world. The annual return of the spirits of the departed to their homes is celebrated by their offspring according to ancient rites of which only a faint trace remains among the Persians and the Parsis of today. 
but that in no way diminishes the importance of the bond which is refreshed at every no ruse. The word no ruse is a compound of two Persian words, now, which has the same root as the English word new, and means new, and the word ruse, which means both day and time, literally meaning the new day. No ruse is usually translated as new year. The Persian no ruse begins on the first day of spring, usually the 21st of March. The 21st of March, therefore, is equal to the first day of Farvardhan, Jewish, Zoroastrian, Armenian, and Turkish Iranians and Central Asians celebrate the No Ruz with the same enthusiasm and sense of belonging. Perhaps it is the, this very universal nature of the message of No Ruz that speaks to its wealth of rites and customs, as well as to it being identified as a unique front of the continuity of the Iranian culture. It is indeed an honor to rise today to speak to this motion. No Ruz, as we know, is a joyous celebration of renewal and a hope for the future, bringing family, friends, and community members together to mark the new year and to mark spring. After the winter we just experienced, I'm more than happy to support this. It is this rich history and diversity of these people and tradition that makes our province strong and vibrant. New Democrats are committed to ensuring that all Ontarians have the freedom and opportunity to benefit from the possibilities we have here. This includes maintaining good jobs, a healthy economy, protecting publicly funded high quality health care and education systems, and fighting for a living wage. We hope that No Ruse marks a renewed effort to work hand in hand to make positive changes in our province, with our government and with our opposition. To all of those observing this day, New Democrats extend their best wishes for a healthy and prosperous New Year. No Ruse Itan Mubarak. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, it is with much delight, Mr. Speaker, that I uh, take this opportunity to extend my support to uh, my colleague MPP, Dr. Reza Moridi, member for Richmond Hill, my parents' member, represents my family, um, to support his motion uh, that the House resolves that the first day of spring be claimed, uh, proclaimed as Nowruz, the Iranian New Year. I think this is a wonderful initiative and I so appreciate him bringing it to us. Um, I'm so pleased to speak to this motion, Mr. Speaker, because I'm certain that there are constituents, so many constituents in my riding of Don Valley West, who've just completed the festivities of uh, Nowruz, that would join me in supporting this motion. And so it's with their energy and their support that I, uh, that I come forward today to speak to this. Nowruz, as uh, the member opposite has just talked about, is the new day, and it's one of the oldest seasonal celebrations of the world. And I think Mr. Speaker, being, um, being a resident of a country that is relatively young, it is always fascinating to, uh, to me, having been born here, and I can only trace my roots in Ontario back four generations, Mr. Speaker. So, um, so we are a, a young nation, and I come from a, a, a family that has not got a, a, long, a long history here. And so to know about an, a society and celebrations that go back 2,500 years, Mr. Speaker, which is the archaeological record for Nowruz back to the, I think it's Achaemenian period, which is over 2,500 years ago, um, it's really very profoundly interesting to us as Canadian, and I think that the kind of initiative that Mr. Moridi is bringing forth today, and the fact that in our publicly funded schools, many of the celebrations that we talk about in our various cultures are celebrated. The children learn about the various cultures, and they learn about the celebrations. That's one of the ways that we can help each other to understand the value system and start to understand how we celebrate and what we celebrate. I, I honor Mr. Moridi for bringing this forward. Thank you so much and look forward to unanimous support of the House. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.